because this brings up the, the classic nature versus nurture argument, innate talent versus environment. So do you think it's more common that players gravitate to positions that facilitate their already existing strengths or do they train their way into that? That they that once their those demands are placed on them, then they necessarily develop the skills. Which one happens more? That's I a think, brain buster. Yeah, I think I think originally uh, and, and and further back, they would gravitate to their natural strengths. Mm -hmm. um, today, I think it's a little bit different. You know, we uh, teams get selected and players put in position and 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 trained to do that specific thing. Previous era, yes, it was gravitation to your strengths. I think today, not that much, but I think at the end of the day, when it when it comes to the core skills and principles, you do gravitate to what you best at. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's what I said, you know, the, you might find a, a Formula One driver having fantastic eye hand or eye foot coordination and reaction, but having slow visual recognition skills. Mm -hmm. But the exciting thing about what I do is that you can actually go into your career and I can take the bad skills and make them better. Whereas in the past, uh, you you just have to live with those bad skills. And what I've found with elite athletes and players wherever I work, they play they play around their strengths and they, they, they hide their, their um, weaknesses. But I believe at the end of the day, when you get into a World Cup or you get into a Wimbledon final or a US Open final, you need all those skills. There comes a time when you need to do all those stuff. And sometimes they at crucial times at match points or set points or game points, etc. cetera. Um, so um, I really think that uh, that plays a big role. It sounds like you more or less play in the area of the scientific, empirical, provable, trainable. So what about things like the zone? Do you work with people in terms of their mental state and and you know sort of being fully present and those types of things uh, it plays a big role in what i do mm -hmm. but the first thing i have to do is equip them to be able to handle what gets thrown at them on the court or, mm -hmm. or whatever they're doing and once you can do that and, and and one of the great offshoots of training in in our gym is it improves your ability to concentrate and once you're able to do that, um, I think that you, with the help of um, whatever I do, um, you can get into the zone. You can get in and out of the zone as you need it. Mm -hmm. I saw you mentioned some of the um, the work that you did with um, Scott Ford. Yes. Uh, and in my really early days, I actually came over to America to attend those those early days, the only thing that was available were those international sports vision conferences. Mm. And I actually met Scott Ford there and Darling Klukas and um, Joan Vickers and Alan Berman, Sean Ratford. So those are the kind of guys I caught up with. And, you know, credit to them. Um, I learned a lot from all of them. So the one yeah. thing that I find is that a great number of the visual errors that I'm seeing are coming because because people are either stuck on the past, they're ruminating on an error that they made and they're sort of processing that, carrying that with them. And mm. then they're not fully attending to their vision mm. or they're in such a rush to make the play that they get ahead of themselves. They're wishing for the future to come sooner than, than, than they naturally would. And then they, they sort of have a, a flinch at that moment that they're supposed to execute the shot because they yeah. were they thought they were already supposed to be there so yeah. so most of the errors i'm seeing are because of the mental state of not being fully I present have a, i have a philosophy um play what you see not what you think you see or what you think you are going to see you know and sometimes we get caught up in between and um and then you're not prepared to to actually play the shot